it's Renee. This is gonna be all the books that I finished reading in December. I did not read the entirety of all these books in December. These are just the ones whose like at least the last page I read in December. That's kind of it. That's kind of it. I know it's halfway through January, but these are still the books I read in December and they're still good. They're not in order of any kind besides the order of the pile they are currently in. But let us begin. First, we have Erku Poirot's Christmas by Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie mysteries are wonderful. Very fun, very satisfying. And this one was loosely Christmas themed. <laughs> so, I read that. This is from my book club, by the way. Cute. Okay, there you go. The next one, a true gem, is called Lolly Willows, or The Loving Huntsman, by Sylvia Townsend Warner. <laughs> and this is a Victorian novel that is so good. It's like normal for the first three quarters, and then all of a sudden it gets crazy. <laughs> You're like, what is going on? I don't want to give anything away. And for me, a book summary does nothing as far as making me want to read a book. But I will let you know that it's hilarious. It's short. It's like, it's small, but also the font. Um, and this book is pretty big. It's kind of hard to come by, but if you do, it is such a treat. It's so wacky and <laughs> there's just like so many good lines in it. So I, I, I would recommend. I would highly recommend that one. Oh, my little stack back there. Stop it. You're so cute. This way. There we go. Another book I finished reading was Bible. Uh, not particularly just this one. I read it in many different versions. <clears throat> but I did read every book this year in the Bible. Um, every book from the Bible this year. I just hadn't done that in a while, so I decided to do it. That was a big boy. This one, when I bought this one, okay, it's called The Gambler Wife by Andrew D. Kaufman. And I thought it was fiction when I picked it up. It was kind of an impulse buy, which I don't normally uh, buy new books that I don't know. Too risky. And it was under the section Books About Books, which is one of my favorite kind of books. Uh, but it turned out, I should have just read the subtitle. I don't know why I didn't. Sometimes subtitles lie and they like to be tricky. But it says, A True Story of Love, Risk, and the Woman Who Saved Dostoevsky. And it's about his wife and why she's so incredible. Because she is incredible and I didn't know about her. And now I know a little bit. You often get biographies about famous people, main characters, if you will, but rarely do you hear about the stories of the people who were right around them who had a lot of influence on them and who were influenced by them and this is really cool you get to see a different perspective about Dostoevsky it's hard uh that you wouldn't normally get i also think this year might be my intro to russian lit year because i've read half of anna karenina and that's it and i happened to read this accidentally i didn't even know it was about russian literature and my book club pick for next month, like the book club that I'm a part of, their pick is a Russian novel or short story. And I just keep getting a lot of little Russian things sprinkled in my life. <laughs> and so I think that I want to read a lot of Russian lit this year. But this was a fun intro to that space. Okay. Uh, another one. Oh, this one also was good. I had just bangers this month. Bangers. Uh, Ghost of Spain by Giles Tremlet. Tremlet. Je ne sais pas. Um, this is about Spain. It's a history, but not like a A to Z history. Just, I would say each chapter is kind of an essay about some different aspect of Spanish life. I think one was about. Franco and one was about 
like Catalonia, and one is about flamenco, and one is about uh, like the dynamics of men and children and women. It kind of builds and makes a picture, but it's not a chronological story. So sometimes with history books, I find that if I get confused at the beginning, I'm confused the whole time. <laughs> But this isn't like that. This you get a fresh start every chapter, so that's good. Okay, and just one left. One little girl left, but a good girl. It's called Are We Human by Dorothy L. Sayers. And it's very short. It's just two small essays, but they're incredible essays. I think they were talks that were then turned into essays. And she is so sharp tongue and funny and intelligent and they're really enjoyable to read. So if you see this little number, pick her up, read her in a couple hours, and then in a year read it again. That is my little stack for December. Look at them, look at all of them, look at all of them. Uh, that was a very brief comment on each book. If you'd like to know more, let me know. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down below. Uh, I might do these every month, maybe. It's kind of fun to see what people are reading. So I hope you get some good recommendations and you enjoy any of the ones you read. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you for watching. Again, if you have any questions about the books, let me know.